So in this video, we are going to be creating our own chart of color mixing. This is something that's incredibly helpful whenever you get new paints. And we all have these new paints. We have a nice variety of colors, more colors than we would usually have. Um, and so it's nice to experiment with mixing each of these different colors and um, to test them out on here to see what do these colors really look like when they dry, but then also um, what do different combinations of colors create um, so that when you're going to color match later in the future, throughout this entire semester when you're using these paints, um, you can look back at this chart and see if any of the colors on here are similar to what you're trying to get. Um, and if they are, then you already know where you need to start. So especially if you're uncomfortable or if you're new to color matching, this is going to be a great tool that we will keep in our sketchbook and we will refer to often. Now it does take a little bit of time um, just to get started. So I'm gonna show you how I usually set up. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna speed it up and I'm going to go ahead and um, put out a little bit of each of my colors just to get started. Okay, so I have all of my colors. Um, I also made a point to make sure that when I put the colors out there, I'm matching it up. That's gonna make it a lot easier and a lot quicker to be able to fill this out. Filling this out, if you just kind of go through randomly, it's going to feel like it takes forever. But if you work methodically and have your colors lined up in order, like I'm going to show you and work kind of quickly, um, then it should be totally fine. You'll notice I got about a pinky's worth of each color because I know I'm gonna have to mix a lot. This should be um, most of what I need, um, except for like one main thing of each of these colors as we go through. And I'll show you what that looks like. So first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start on my titanium white column. And I'm gonna do this with each individual column. So I'm gonna get some more titanium white because that's the main color I'm going to use. I have a clean brush. I'm gonna grab some white, paint that in. Okay, so then I'm gonna pull some of this off to the side and I don't need much. Um, and I can actually, an easy way to do it is actually I can pull a little bit down here, a little bit down here for each of my colors. So you're basically making the chart on your palette or I'm just using wax paper as my palette so I have a little more room to mix. Okay, and so now I'm just gonna pull just a little bit from the side, mix it in and paint the first one. Make sure in between each color you rinse all the way. Oh, and one other little trick is like right here at least, it'll match up and you use the same color multiple places. So actually I didn't need to rinse. I could go ahead and get this one done as well. So this first column will go both ways. It'll go down and to the side. So now I need to rinse, clean off my brush, grab a little bit of this next color, mix it in, paint it, make sure it's not too watery. I have enough paint. So if I don't have enough paint, I can always grab a little more. There we go, that's better. Clean off my brush. Every time, clean off your brush. And then I'm just gonna continue to do this through each of these colors. So um, I'm going to speed this up a little bit. all done. This is going to be so helpful whenever I get a color match on future projects. Um, I should be able to look here and see if any of these colors match up and then know where to get started when I'm color matching. Woohoo! Also, here's how my palette turned out. Kind of fun.